We're also calling tonight's vote right now for the CMS bond referendum. Take a look here. That definitely passed with 63 percent. Uh, looking at 37% as no for those bond referendums. Let's talk about this, Brian. Yeah, the bond proposal will raise $2.5 billion to pay for 30 different projects. A massive ask right now, and most of those projects will replace older schools with new facilities, and others will be repurposed for new uses or renovated. It will also pay for design work for new schools and facilities, and that money will also cover building three new middle schools. Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger joins us now live outside the watch party for the bond measure supporters tonight. And Sydney, we talk about two and a half billion dollars. I mean, this is a historic referendum. Alicia and Brian, that is exactly right. And the Charlotte Business Alliance has actually called this race in favor of that bond referendum. Now, this is the most expensive school bond referendum in North Carolina state history. Again, $2.5 billion. And people I talked to today said that is just a testament to how many projects there are and how needed this money is in the school district. It's one of the most hotly contested items on the November 7th ballot and one with big implications. You have to remember the big picture. We have 125 needed projects in order to keep Beckham, you know, Charlotte Beckham Schools running in the way they need to be running. It's about $2.5 billion that would fund 30 school infrastructure projects around the county. The most expensive project would fund the final phase of updates to North Mecklenburg High School. That effort alone has a price tag topping $228 million. Huntersville Elementary here is one of those schools on the bond. It is 95 years old. It is falling apart. We cannot patch it any more than we already have. But the county's campaign didn't come without opposition from people who would rather see the money used elsewhere. I think the money should follow the students. And so this is just an infrastructure bill. It's mm -hmm. not really helping pay teachers any more money, hire any more teachers. Supporters argue improving buildings would help with hiring and retaining teachers, but opponents say it's also the tax increase. Three cents per $100 on all properties over $400,000 that concerns them. A lot of people are have low income housing. I mean, they don't make a lot of money and, and taxing them more is just going to push them out of Charlotte. They're going to raise our taxes anyway. That's just what life does. We might as well force some of that to go to our schools. Yeah, the school, the last bond referendum was passed in 2017, and the school district is still working on finishing up the last of those projects. Now, I'm told that if this bond didn't pass tonight, many of these 30 projects would still happen. They would just take longer and possibly cost the taxpayer even more money down the road due to inflation. I'm reporting in Midtown, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News. Tax.